Well, hello everyone and welcome to, well, one of the best days of my life because as you can see from the Belgravia green beauty behind me, I've just been delivered this brand new L460 generation 2023 Range Rover and I couldn't be more excited. So this Range Rover has been provided to me courtesy of The Out. Now, The Out are a London-based rental company that only do JLR products and they provide a service which is basically all-inclusive. If you want to take the car to Europe, if you want to do unlimited mileage in it, additional drivers, it's all included in the price you pay. There's no hidden fees and the whole booking experience actually was very, very simple and straightforward. So why have I got this car then? Well, I wanted to obviously experience the L460 Range Rover. As many of you know, or if you're new here, you might not know, I've previously owned two L322 Range Rovers, which well, my heart flutters about every day. I miss those cars dearly. I've also had quite a few experiences in the previous generation now, L405 Range Rover, which I also really love. I'm yet to own one of those. But what I've never experienced is this latest generation L460 Range Rover. And so I was super keen to get my hands on one, of course, but also I've got a trip that I'm going on tomorrow to Scotland. And well, let's be honest, I could not think of a better car, not only to drive up to Scotland, but also to explore Scotland once we're there. And that'll all be coming in the next video you see on the channel. But anyway, I don't know about you, <laughs> this has just arrived this morning, got delivered straight to my door. Very, very nice chap that delivered it. We walked around the car, he showed me how everything works, but it's the first time I've actually taken it out by myself. And I don't know about you, I wanna get in and have a look at it. Okay then, stepping up into the high chair and it can only really be described as stepping into an entirely different universe. It is effortlessly comfortable in here, very, very spacious as you would imagine. This is a huge car and immediately you see this big screen that says, good afternoon, set up your vehicle in front of you. We have a very minimalistic small gear selector now, we've got a completely different design of steering wheel too, reminds me of my old BMW 7 Series, and of course, glass display in front of me. This car, unlike lots of rental cars that you might experience if you, I don't know, go abroad or even use different companies here in the UK, often seem to be, well, lower spec. But that's not the case at all with this car from the L. We have the sliding panoramic roof. In the back, I can see rear reclining seats. We'll get to that in a minute. I've got a heads up display in front of me. Now up front, these seats are heated and cooled. There's a fridge in here with a couple of settings on it. Got a nice bottle of water in there that is freezing now. And the list does really go on. It feels super special to be able to have a car this nice from a rental company. And I encourage you to go and check out their website. They do pretty much every single model of Land Rover and they also have Jaguar F-types go and have a look and see if you can rent one for yourself because, well, this so far is absolutely incredible. Well, switching it on then, and it is, you know, very digital now. Immediately on this steering wheel, uh, you can see obviously it's a different shape, but all the buttons are now sort of digital, I guess you could say, but they are still clickable. So that'll take a little bit of getting used to. So you've got loads and loads and loads of functionality in here. And as I said, you can have heated and cooled seats on the front and the rear too, which is amazing. You can even adjust things like the headrest and bring it further out, which is really cool. But yes, this is a far cry now from Range Rover of old, and it's become far less rugged and far more luxurious, which I can't say I'm too unhappy about, given the fact that my objective with this car is to take it to Scotland. And as I'm sure you won't be surprised to hear at all, the luxuriousness does not stop back here. See, we've got the pan roof, which you really benefit from in the back. Such an incredible view. And in fact, Katie's going to be driving this car once we're in Scotland. And I have to say, I think I might sit myself back here for some of that scenic driving. I can also control both rear windows. Instead of having to reach over there, I can just click this button and I then have the ability to open that window as well. And if I decide the sun's a bit much or I want to have a snooze, I can press that button and also control the panoramic roof cover from the back. How cool is that? And as mentioned, using the buttons here like we have in the front, I can also have myself cooled and heated seating. 
which is just such a nice thing, not only in the front, but in the back too. I mean, that is perfect for your passengers. And in the middle here on this car, you've got these cup holders, which are exactly the same design as the L322 had, which I love that. There's so many cues here, which hark back to all of the previous generation of Range Rovers and a storage cubby, as you'd expect in there. Very neat, very swanky. And really, we should just take in the beauty that is this car. I have to say, in person, it is just absolutely gorgeous. I actually chose this colour. It's Belgravia Green. In an ideal world, I'd probably have a tan interior. I think that would be a perfect combination. These wheels are uh, an extra. I think they're 22 inches. However, I can say, I'll go into it more in the next video, but it doesn't seem to affect the ride quality at all, or at least not enough that it doesn't feel completely luxurious and soft. And continuing the tradition, of course, we still have the classic split tailgate. And if you want to load your shopping, you can actually lower the air suspension even more to make it easier. I was also able to choose the, well, engine model I wanted uh, between diesel and hybrid. I actually chose diesel in this case. It's the D300. Knowing what I was planning on doing with the car, lots of miles up the motorway to Scotland, I thought this would be the best choice. And I have to say, so far in the few miles I've done, I've averaged around 40 miles per gallon. So I think it was a very good choice indeed. But the thing's not slow either. It's still very fast, around six and a half seconds to 60. And so to drive then, well, as you would expect, just absolutely stunning, just beautiful. It glides over every single little bump in the road. It's dead silent in here. I'm doing 40 miles an hour. It feels like we're not even moving. And the seating position, the armrest is still here. It's everything you would expect from a Range Rover. And I have to say, just being able to rent this car for this trip to Scotland that we're going to be embarking on, will just make the whole thing so much more special. Now, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love my Audi TT that I recently acquired, but it just wouldn't be the same driving all the way up to Glencoe and the Highlands in that. It also wouldn't afford you the same sort of views that you get from being this high up. In fact, I can see over all the hedgerows here, which I certainly can't in my TT. So this then has just been a very quick introduction and overview to the L460 Range Rover that's in my possession for the coming week or so and I hope you've enjoyed it. Now if you want to see more you're going to have to wait until the next video when I'm in Scotland and we're really going to enjoy this car and enjoy Scotland as well. Try and find some of the best roads in Britain and there's no better car for it is there. So let me say a massive thank you to the Alp for supplying me with this Range Rover. I'll leave a link in the description to their website and I really encourage you to go and have a look actually and see what you can have because there's all sorts of amazing choices on there and like I say once you choose what you want everything is included no hidden fees it's a really really cool service thanks all so much for watching make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next video on the channel and I'll see you all very very soon